pet food warning. A new study shows people can get some pretty dangerous infections from it. And as Liz Crenshaw reports, even feeding your pet in the kitchen can put your family at risk. Hot is on the floor all the time. Randy Nepple's one and a half year old son, Hot, is at the age when he's crawling all over the house, including in the kitchen, where the family's yellow lab, Buttercup, also has his meals. To be honest, uh, when he started crawling, his favorite toy was the dog bowl, and he would throw it everywhere. What Nepple didn't realize was that she was putting her son at risk of getting sick from dangerous bacteria like salmonella that could be lurking in some pet foods. You're dealing with an animal product. Um, most of the pet foods are cooked and that will destroy the salmonella, but if anything is added after the cooking process, like a flavoring, then that can uh, increase the chance of a salmonella contamination. In fact, in the last two months alone, the Food and Drug Administration has reported dozens of pet food recalls, most of which were due to possible salmonella contamination. And since 2011, a total of 15 people have been affected by salmonella linked to dog food, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Five of those people were hospitalized. If the food were contaminated and you were to touch it um, and not wash your hands and somehow uh, get it into your system, then yes, you could contract it. Most of us feed our dogs and cats right in our own kitchens, from the kitchen counter with the utensils, etc. You say don't do that. There was a recent study that came out that found that people that fed their dogs or cats in their kitchen were four times more likely to contract uh, a bacterial infection from the food. So the first line of defense, don't feed your pet in the kitchen and use specific utensils just for pet food. We've been trying to take as many precautions as we can. Once Randy Neppel learned about the potential health problems with contaminated dog food, she made some changes in her home. She put Buttercup's bowl away after he eats, doesn't allow her son Hot to feed the dog anymore, and is diligent about washing her hands after preparing the pet food. I think every mother gets pretty concerned about anything that can potentially harm their children. And that was Liz Crenshaw reporting. Now, some think that because commercial pet foods contain bacteria, why not make it your own? Veterinarians warn against that.